El año pasado yo terminaba high school en mi país, pero cuando vine aquí me pusieron de nuevo. O sea, me dolió muchísimo, pero adelante, solo por el inglés. With the SMART team, we have high school students that are either limited English proficient or are bilingual and come from immigrant backgrounds. Um, and what they are being trained to do and taught to do is how to actually engage with the system, for example, the system as in like the school system, right? And so really learning what is, uh, how is the school system set up and learning how to identify what the issues are that they're facing every day and then bringing those forward. What we're trying to really encourage them to do is to advocate for themselves to make their school experience better for themselves. Well, the SMART program is like, it gives me like more leadership skills to like speak more calm. I, I didn't even used to speak a lot, but since I was in the SMART program and everything, make me more like confident so I could speak more to students and everything like that so I could help them. Um, in that first year we uh, we had youth testify at budget hearings talking about the issues that they faced in front of DC Council. We were even able to get from that a meeting with Michelle Reed where we were able to have the students tell her directly what the issues were that they faced. Um, and I think what that did more than anything was it it showed the students that, wow, you know, if we come and we do these things, even though it's a little scary, you know, getting up there and testifying in front of these people that are important decision makers, um, they'll listen to us and they'll make commitments to doing things. And like there are three organizations representing each other of them and like what we are trying to do is that all of us share our opinion and like work together and fight for our issues together as a team. Yes, it's the first time. I'm with the SMART program or language access program. Uh, with students sharing the stories with other students, that's where I think it's just so exciting to, to have that dialogue. You know, there's no space or really room for that in your day-to-day -day school experience. So you don't actually have those conversations, especially maybe from, you know, between two students that are from two different ethnic groups or two different linguistic groups. When else would they have a chance to share their, their stories and their experiences and actually learn that they're dealing with the same things, even though they're maybe from different racial or ethnic backgrounds. And to see our youth in those spaces really step up um, and have people like Lalaram, who's one of our students who's he's typically very shy, say his mind about something. To see that happen, to me, really gives me confidence and faith. And, uh, and it inspires me knowing that these youth are changing, they're growing, they're developing their leadership potential. And, you know, I mean, when other youth see that leadership, I think it inspires them to want to do the same thing and they, they see the possibilities.